welcome to this edition of High School Rewind, available on highschoolrewind.com. We've traveled up north, Box Elder High School, home of the Bees, the 5-0 and o Bees, as they prepare to host the Mountain Crest Mustangs here in a non-region contest. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Excited to bring you this game between former region rivals. That's no more. Let's start first with the visiting Mountain Crest Mustangs. They come in three and four overall, losers of two straight down at the Elite Eight tournament in uh, American Fork. But they are looking to change or right the ship here tonight. They are led by the BMOC, the big man on campus. It's Jackson Brenchley. Leads this team in points, rebounding, assists, and steals. Truly a kid who does it all and only a junior. We've got a junior alert here for you tonight on High School Rewind. A truly leader for this Mustang squad. Look for him to have a big night tonight if the Mustangs try to right the losing ways that they've been experiencing recently. It's going to be tough for them to do it though because this Box Elder squad we mentioned 5-0 and oh, and they're doing it behind some really good young talent including Jared Jerem Meekum leads the team in scoring with 17 points per game. And then you got Max Watson, who's scoring 16 points per ball game. The two guards have been absolutely fantastic for Box Elder through this point of the season. It's not just them. You also have Darius McFarland, a future BYU defensive tackle, who's averaging nearly 10 points per ball game. And then Kevin Harris, who's also averaging nearly 10 points per ball game. That's four kids all averaging 10 points or more for the Box Elder Bees. Scoring, hey, points come in bunches here at Box Elder so far this season. Mountain Crest has a tall task on their hands to try to limit the offensive output of the Bees here tonight. As again, Mountain Crest trying to get back to winning ways. The Box Elder Bees trying to show that their 5-0 start is no fluke. Got a good one coming up for you. Tip-off is next here on High School Rewind. Ready to tip here from Box Elder High School. Mountain Crest in the road, orange and blue. DeMooney, Dawson, Nethercott, Brenchley, and Jensen on the floor as Mountain Crest wins the tip. For the Bees in their home whites, Watson, Nielsen, Meekum, McFarland, and Harris get the starting nods here tonight. Near side with Dawson being guarded by Meekum coming around the screen. Open three-pointer on the way and good for Landon Jensen. Great start for the Stangs here on the road. An early three for Landon Jensen. Third on the team in scoring just five points per ball game. We talked about Brenchley, his impact. Big, big if they could get a kid like Jensen going. Is that shot from Watson no good? And the rebound to Nethercott. Up the other way, through the lane, tip back, won't go. A couple missed shots. To Mooney with the follow, and we'll get the foul here called on Kevin Harris. It will be his first. First free throw from De Mooney, side of the rim, no good. Second free throw is good. Up the floor quickly, Meekum looking inside to Harris. He couldn't handle it, and now numbers the other way for Mountain Crest to the hole, and Jensen with five quick points here for the Mustangs. McFarland now going to run the offense here for Box Elder. Future BYU football player. Talked about him in our open, and he is a tank down low. Harris cross-court pass. Watson had it knocked away, able to pick it back up. In the corner three for Meekum. No good, and the rebound to Mountain Crest. Kick out, another three for Mountain Crest, no good. McFarland looking up the floor quickly to Harris. He'll pass out of trouble. Now along the baseline, Watson gonna dial up the three. No good. Box Elder still can't get on the scoreboard. Going the other way, off glass is Jackson Brenchley. His first points tonight, the junior on the scoreboard. Eight nothing Mountain Crest. Just two minutes into the contest. Zone defense here by the Mustangs. See them wanting to deal with that guard play. Screen set McFarland. Good pass over to Harris. And Kevin Harris, the 6'8 senior, with the first points of the night for Box Elder. 8 to 2, our score. Speaking of screens the other way. Nethercott will hand off to DeMooney, pull up, that shot blocked. Nielsen with the block. Meekum looking to the lane, lay it up and good for Jerem Meekum. It's talking pregame and 
Some of these box elder fans mentioned the defense of Nielsen, said he's one of the better defenders. He showed it there on that block as he comes out off the screen here to pick up Brenchley. Drive from Jensen, blocked again, this time by Harris as Watson looking to cut through. Meekum for three, it's good. Jerem Meekum with the three pointer, seven unanswered points now from the Bees as they've clawed back to within one. It's what you like to see if you're Coach McKee. As we're approaching the midway point here in this first quarter. Top of the key with Jensen, McFarland guarding him. We'll use the screen, dial up the three, back of the iron. Watson, again, off balance shot, couldn't get it to fall, and Jensen will let that one land in his lap. It's now Brenchley pushing things the other way for the visiting squad. Double team down low, able to pass out. Another caught thought about the three, then thought better of it. DeMooney, see some space, taken away by Watson. Looking to push again. Little jump step. And that will not count. They're going to say the foul on the floor. Box Elder to inbound as Oliva inbounds to Mika. No good. Rebounded by Wallentine, who just came in at the whistle for Mountain Crest. Brenchley. That shot deflected again, I think, by Harris. Kick out. Three pointer on the way from Wallentine is good. Taryn Wallentine, first points for Mountain Crest in about three minutes. Come off the junior. Again, that zone defense here in play for Mountain Crest. Pass through it in the corner to Seaver. Ball worked around the perimeter. Watson, back to Meekum. Watson gonna try the three. He has had a tough night shooting the ball. No points yet for Max Watson. Mentioned second on the team in scoring with 16 per. Pull up Jay, left it short. Back the other way for Box Elder here. 11-7 the score in favor of Mountain Crest. Oliva, near side with Meekum. Sees the lane, and that ball just taken away out of midair. How about that play by Alex Dawson as he's looking to go end to end, and he's fouled. Alex Dawson to the line to shoot a pair. Nielsen and McFarland check in for Box Elder. Tanner Schwab checks in for Mountain Crest as Dawson, on his trip to the line, goes one of two, and it is 12 to 7. Oliva, boy, good find right in the paint. And the pull up from Nielsen is good. His first points of the night. Schwab with the crossover, had that one knocked away into the hands of Darius McFarland. And couldn't find Oliva, he was open. Pass a little too hot to handle. Schwab. Kick out, three-pointer on the way from Nethercott. No good. Nielsen able to track down the rebound. McFarland, lane cut off by Dawson. He'll dribble it back out. So he'll call out the play here. In the corner, Oliva going to try the three-pointer. That one touches every point of the rim and goes down for the junior point guard. And we are tied up at 12. It's been a 12-4 run for the Bees. 1.30 left here, that shot deflected, picked back up, and put in by Kai Nethercott for his per first bucket of the night. Boy, right place at the right time for Kai Nethercott, the senior forward. McFarland dials one up from long range, couldn't get it to fall, and a foul here on the board. Is, it was Wallentine who brought in the board and got knocked over by McFarland. A little token pressure put on here by Oliva. Picking up Schwab at half court. Of course, Tanner Schwab, quarterback for the Mustangs this year on the gridiron. And that ball knocked away by Watson. 
Max Watson in front of everyone. How about DeMooney coming from behind for the block to take away the open lay-in. McFarland inbounds to Nielsen. Shot no good. Watson there for the board and the putback. Hasn't been able to find the touch from distance yet. Get the little four-footer to fall, and Watson on the board for the first time tonight as Schwab passes back to DeMooney. 40 seconds remaining here, opening period. 14 apiece is that shot from Wallentine, no good. And a foul here called on Kevin Harris. It will be number two on the 6'8 senior center. Harris stays in the ball game here with two fouls. 35 seconds left at the line. Wallentine able to go two of two. 16-14, the lead now for the Mountain Crest Mustangs. 30 seconds left here. Oliva, kick out to McFarland, trying to use the screen by Nielsen. Excellent job by Brinchley, able to step around it. Watson with the floater in the lane, couldn't get to fall. Harris with the board, kick out as he was being just harassed by the Mustangs down low. Inside of 10 seconds left now for Watson. Clock down to four, McFarland gonna take the three. That shot no good. Nielsen able to track it down, gets the shot away, but it does not fall. And the first quarter's ended 16-14. The Stangs out in front on the road. Start of the second quarter. Box Elder fell down eight nothing in the first two minutes of this ball game. They did a great job clawing back to tie it up a couple times. Is that ball taken Brenchley away by Brenchley. Underneath, Zachary Smith couldn't keep it. Is had it knocked away out of bounds off of the bees. Inbounded to Brenchley Watson. Good defense by Max Watson. Tough shot for Brenchley as it just rimmed out on him. McFarland going against DeMooney. It's going to be a fun matchup tonight. Meekum with the reverse lay-in. What a take by Jerem Meekum. Leads all scorers now with seven points tonight. Schwab. Smith dribbles it out of the corner. Over to DeMooney. Boy, the lane wide open. And that shot at least deflected. And then an offensive foul called on DeMooney will be his first. Boy, a tough call. Coach Buckmiller did not like that one. And I'd have to side with the coach on that one. That is a, a tough one to take for DeMooney. A kid who doesn't need any help from the officials in picking up fouls. McFarland. Meekum out to Watson for three. No good again. Ball batted out. It will go back to Mountain Crest. Brenchley officially going to hear it the rest of the night from the hive here at Box Elder, the student section, as he had a shot that was deflected in fairness to Brenchley. Boy, good defense down low by Seaver. Nowhere to go with the ball and turned over. Meekum thought about the pull-up. You could tell he wanted it. Watson attacking with the right hand. Couldn't get it to drop. And they say out of bounds off of the bees. Working around the perimeter here. Gets back to Brenchley. Looking to attack and Watson there to close it off. Corner three from Dawson, no good. There with the board is Nethercott. And again, good post defense as it was Seaver forcing the travel that time by Nethercott. Box Elder has not led in this ball game. Tied up at 16, they can here. Had an opportunity in the last possession as well, though they couldn't capitalize. Watson looking to drive. Nielsen had it knocked away, it'll stay here. We'll leave it inbound. Lofts this one. Boy, a dangerous inbound pass as it is taken away. Jensen thought about dunking it, then thought, hey, let's just get the points. Smart play there by the junior guard, Landon Jensen. And he's got seven to lead Mountain Crest in the contest. That shot from Meekum wouldn't drop, and now numbers coming back for Mountain Crest. How about that little stutter step and count it good by Alex Dawson. 
Boy, Mountain Crest not afraid to get out and run the floor. It's paid dividends here tonight. Oliva looking for somewhere to go. Watson, no, no one inside the paint for Box Elder right now. As Harris is checked out again, has two fouls, picked them both up in the first quarter. Oliva, far side. Now Watson with the jump step, right-hander, couldn't get it to fall, ball batted out and into the hands of Brenchley. Going to try to force this one against a swarm of bees. And they say he traveled with it. Shot is no good. Turned over. Tracer Wilson and Darius McFarland both check in for Box Elder. Wilson going to try to provide some height inside. McFarland near side with Meekum. See that zone defense trying to collapse down on the perimeter shooters of Box Elder. Boy, give it to Wilson. Let him go to work as they tried it, lost it. And then they're going to say that he stepped over. Tough call. I don't know that McFarland had possession of it. Should clarify for credibility's sake, McFarland's foot clearly went over the line, but without possession of the basketball, don't know that that's an over and back. Up top, Jensen, Oliva out on him. Now Brenchley. On the switch, voice of miscommunication as Wallentine attacks, draws the contact, and to the line to shoot will be Taryn Wallentine. It's the first foul on Seaver tonight. Wallentine at the line, good on the first. His second free throw, good as well. And tell you what, if you need a guy to take free throws for you. Taryn Wallentine is a, a good candidate for the Mustangs. 22-16, the lead now for Mountain Crest. And after a frenetic first quarter, we've only had eight points scored here in the second. Three and a half left underneath Nielsen, just being hounded by the Mustang defense. That ball knocked out off Mountain Crest. Excuse me, I actually called the foul that time on Landon Jensen, his first foul. Third team foul on Mountain Crest. McFarland. Watson over to Oliva. Boy, he was looking inside for Nielsen. It was a good idea. Nielsen wasn't ready for the pass. Underneath, and a foul called on DeMuni as they worked the ball inside to Wilson. Second foul called on Lavani DeMuni. Got good minutes out of DeMuni tonight. Just picked up his second foul, he comes off. Three-pointer from McFarland is long, rebounded by Watson. Drive cut off, excellent play defensively by Nethercott. A three by Oliva, not even close. That ball knocked away, and it's Brinchley who comes away with it. Meanwhile, Nethercott is down on the other end. Is that shot blocked by McFarland? They're gonna call him for a foul. It'll be number two on Darius, not to his liking. Dawson at the line, goes one of two. And two of four on the night from the charity stripe is Alex Dawson. 23-16 now, two and a half left to play in the opening half. Nielsen tried to float that one underneath, and he did so to Mountain Crest. As now Dawson coming back the other way. That ball poked away by McFarland. Seaver and Meekum both check in for Box Elder as the inbound to Brenchley. That ball was deflected from behind. I want to say it was Watson, though I'm not positive on that. They've done a great job hounding the leading scorer for Mountain Crest as a blocking foul called here on the other end. Going to go against Taryn Wallentine, his first. And it is a 7-2 scoring advantage for Mountain Crest in this quarter as Meekum using the screen, able to end that. He's got all four points for the Bees here in the second quarter. Brenchley, good vision down low. Able to find Zach Smith for his first points of the night. 25-18, now the advantage. McFarland picked up his dribble. Over to Watson, He's closing out on him was Jensen. McFarland through traffic, difficult shot that Darius McFarland able to bucket his first points tonight. Brenchley spinning around, going glass, couldn't finish it off. Meekum with the board, coming down the other way, trying to attack three Mustangs, throws it up, no help. Nielsen with the putbacks. That's why you follow the play right there. Props to Carl Nielsen, the senior. 
And now the students trying to cheer on the D here of Box Elder as we approach one minute remaining. Brenchley picks up his dribble, calling for some help from Jensen. And a timeout taken here by the Mustangs. Inside of one minute left. And now a zone defense in play for Box Elder. Near side with Wallentine. Look at them collapse down on him. And the ball stolen by Meekum. Taken it the other way, left-handed, couldn't get it to fall and batted out of bounds by Smith. It will stay here with the Bees. McFarland inbound. Does so to Nielsen, hands right back to him. 35 seconds left in the opening half. A long three by Meekum, and the shot was long. Rebounded by Tanner Schwab, and back the other way for Mountain Crest. Schwab threw it away, may have gotten tripped up instead. It's the other way to Wilson. Watson, excuse me, lay it up and in. 25-24. And a big response here by Box Elder late after trailing by as many as seven. In the second quarter, clock now, down to six seconds left for Brenchley. Pull up three from Jackson Brenchley, no good. Watson with the board, he's gonna float one long. It is no good. Halftime has arrived, 25-24. The Mustangs lead at the break. Second half underway. The Mustangs start with the possession and a one point lead. And a foul called here early on as Brenchley is fouled in the process of the pass. First foul tonight on Max Watson as this ball inbounded to DeMuni and he doesn't have anywhere to go as Kevin Harris made sure of that. That might be the third block tonight by Kevin Harris. He has been a demon inside defensively as that ball batted away by McFarland. Good first possession here defensively by the Bees, active hands. Say some spirit fingers going on as a foul call here on McFarland. That is number three on Darius. Oliva checks in for McFarland. Box Elder give up a little height with that substitution. Another block, this time by Nielsen. And then by Watson. It's been a block party at Box Elder here in the first 40, 35 seconds of the second half. Right now, Mountain Crest would just like to get a shot to the rim. It's been tough. The drive by Dawson, batted away. Meekum down the other way for Box Elder. Looking to drive, floats it up. Shot is no good, ball batted around, saved by Nielsen. Kicked out to Watson, pull up from the baseline. That shot is long and rebounded by Brenchley. Another cut, back to Jensen. Got past everyone, but the ball, he didn't have it. Nielsen knocked it away. Damuni nearly knocked it away, and then going to get a foul here as he got tripped up, ended running into Nielsen. Importantly, that will be number three on Lavani Damuni. Meekum content to hold it here for a little bit. Moving that zone side to side. Again, Meekum, Watson, and now Oliva. Inside, Harris, that shot well off the mark. Brinchley will bring it back up the other way. Oliva bodies him up. Corner three on the way, and good. Landon Johnson, his second three-pointer of the night. 10 points for the junior guard. He leads all scorers. It is now 28-24. Watson attacking right-handed off glass. What a take by Max Watson. Just a sophomore, a sophomore stud here tonight for Box Elder. The 6'4 guard 
Watson has struggled shooting from distance, but he started attacking the rim and has paid benefits for him. Nethercott, kick out to Wallentine. We'll hand off to Brenchley. And here's a kid who's also struggled tonight. Only two points tonight for Jackson Brenchley. He averaged 17 coming into the ball game. Watson's done a great job on him defensively. Another strip here this time by Oliva. It stays with the Stangs. McFarland and Sever both check in for Box Elder. My apologies to number 23, Joe Sever. I've called him Seaver for much of the night. Call me a Growing Pains fan as Nethercott with a bucket. 30 to 26, the lead for Mountain Crest. Meekum gonna fire the three-pointer, good for Chad Jerem Meekum. His second three-pointer tonight. 30 to 29, the Bees back to within one. Again, they've never led tonight. Got off to a 8-0 deficit. Clawed their way back a couple times. Pull up from the free throw line. Shot no good. Rebounded by Meekum. Up the other way. Now turning on the Jets. Kick to Oliva. And he couldn't bring it in. Brenchley from straight away. Three pointer no good as it just would not go down. Up the floor quickly to Meekum with the hesitation. There's the lead. Jerem Meekum. Five points for him here in the third quarter. 31-30, the Bees out in front. Over to Jensen. Oliva closed off the lane well. Three-pointer on the way, no good. McFarland able to reel in the rebound. Over the midway point, Meekum couldn't get that three-pointer to fall as it hit the back of the iron. Brenchley back the other way, attacking quickly. Hands off to Nethercott, the hesitation. Good decision there by Kai Nethercott. And a quick timeout here. Bees have been good here in this third quarter, primarily the defense, been very aggressive, causing problems for the Mustangs. The offense, we've had a lot of those missed shots as Nielsen has that one deflected out off of the Mustangs. Inbounded. To Sever, couldn't get it at fall. Nethercott with the board. He's picked up a half court and turned it over to Nielsen with the active hands. That shot no good. Nielsen able to save it underneath to Oliva. Going glass. And Chase Oliva with the bucket. Again, the defense of Box Elder creating opportunity. Schwab over to Wallentine. Dawson drive cut off. Gave it back to Nethercott. And uh, that aggressive defense gonna get caught there. Did sever. Quick ball movement here by Mountain Crest. Is that drive again? Battered away, though we're going to get a blocking foul called here. See if it goes on Watson or Harris. It'll go on Watson, his second. Brenchley checked back in. Meanwhile, Dawson struggles at the line. Continue here in the third quarter. As he missed them both. Rebounded by Nielsen. Two of six on the night from the charity stripe is Alex Dawson. Not been very charitable. To the senior, Meekum couldn't get it to fall. Watson with the athletic board, the putback would it go. Nielsen does. What a great putback by Nielsen. And then Schwab wasn't ready for the pass. Another turnover that McFarland launches. Watson puts it back. And a timeout taken. The Bees have up their lead, 37-32. Tanner Schwab to run the play here for Mountain Crest. Trailing by five. As the double team comes up, McFarland able to create the dual possession, and it will go back to Box Elder.
McFarland over to Watson. Going to try the three. Left it short. Harris with the board. McFarland now looking to attack. Tough shot. Couldn't get it to fall. That one was close. Brenchley quickly up the floor the other way, and he's going to attack. No help from the officials that time. Brenchley had the ball. It was taken away by Nielsen on the floor. What a great hustle play by the senior, Carl Nielsen. Watson wouldn't have the drive be denied. Hands it off to Kevin Harris for his first point since the first quarter. A long three-pointer here by Jensen. Left it short. Nielsen with the board. Has Harris up the floor. That's where he goes. Harris goes glass. Two more for Kevin Harris. Inside of a minute remaining, the lead is nine for Box Elder. This third quarter has been, let's just say, favorable for the Bees. Over to Brenchley. Has to deal with screaming students. Screen from Wallentine. Harris on the switch. Brenchley pass out to Jensen from just inside the three-point line. That's a two-point bucket. Good for Landon Jensen. Another six inches, he would have gotten an extra point out of it. 23 seconds remaining. McFarland with it. He'll dribble it over, 10 seconds left now. Is McFarland trying to attack and a foul call here on the floor, an impressive bucket, but it will not count. Oliva and Sever check in for Box Elder. Nethercott back on for Mountain Crest. This ball inbounded to the corner. Meekum for three. That shot no good. Rebound and a long heave. No good as the quarter comes to a close. What a quarter it was for Box Elder. 41 34 advantage. We head now to the fourth. Fourth quarter underway, and Mountain Crest has to find a way to increase the intensity. They did not have an answer for the aggressiveness of Box Elder coming out of halftime. There's a good start as Jackson Brenchley attacks the hoop. Count the bucket good. The foul here going to be called on Kevin Harris, his third. Brenchley's free throw is good. Just his fifth point of the ball game, not the night that he expected nor that Mustang fans expected. It's been a quiet one tonight. Watson had that one go through the mitts, able to regain it, pull up from the elbow. And that shot good for Max Watson. He's at eight now. Brenchley calling out the play, Watson. Has had the task of guarding him for the majority of the night. He's done a stellar job in doing so. Nethercott in the post. Going to attack Harris. Going glass. And that's number four called on Kevin Harris with 7.07 left. Nielsen and McFarland both check in for Box Elder at the line. Nethercott able to make both. 43-39. Mountain Crest. Trying to get back in here, screened by Nielsen. In the corner, Meekum saves it underneath to Sever. How about that play? First points of the night by Joe Sever, but a more imp impressive play by Meekum. Looked like he was gonna lose it out of bounds. Instead, it turns into an assist. Jensen driving on Oliva, glass, good. Landon Jensen, 14 points on the night to lead the way for Mountain Crest. Top of the key, Oliva thought about driving and said we'll allow McFarland to do so. Pull up, Darius McFarland wouldn't get the friendly bounce as Brenchley with the rebound. Brenchley attacking the hoop again. That shot too hard, rebounded by Meekum. Picked up by Brenchley, the switch. Meekum gonna try to take advantage of the switch, couldn't hit the shot, and Brenchley with the board. Brenchley, and a foul here on Sever, will be his first. Seventh team foul on Box Elder, so now Mountain Crest shooting one and one. On the front end, it is missed. Rebounded, however, by Nethercott, and then he walked with it. Now Mountain Crest extending 
their zone pressure. Oliva able to break it near side with Meekum. Sever couldn't get the shot to fall. And it's rebounded by Brenchley. Up the floor he comes. He's been attacking in this fourth quarter. As that shot deflected out, we'll stay here. Boy, I thought there was some contact there. Not much help from the officials. Been that way a couple times tonight. Brenchley guarded by Meekum. Boy, good idea looking inside. Had Dawson wide open. Dawson wasn't expecting it. Turned over. Need a defensive stand here. We'll leave it near side. Able to get it to Seaver. Hands off. Good ball movement here by Box Elder. The pull up from Oliva. Can't hit the shot. Dawson the other way. Jensen going to try the three. Front of the iron. And corralled by Sever. Up the floor quickly. And Meekum has help in McFarland. Instead, Meekum takes it himself. Misses it. McFarland. As the Mooney came down on the help, he will pick up the foul and number four on Levani de Mooney. Watson checks back in for Box Elder, Schwab back in for Mountain Crest. McFarland at the line, goes one of two. He missed his first, made that his second. Only three points tonight for Darius McFarland. It's a 46-41 lead. Advantage to the Bees, 440 left here in the fourth quarter. That's a lot of fours. We got through them all. That's success right there. Inside, Watson absolutely out physically. Nethercott in the post. That ball nearly knocked away. Schwab tried to pass it over to Dawson. That ball couldn't be saved, and it goes to the Bees. Watson. Near side, boy, they gave him some space there. He, he's not going to be afraid to shoot that if you give that to him a couple times. Instead, it will be Nielsen from the baseline. Can't connect. Brenchley with the board. Up the floor quickly to Dawson. Nielsen over on the help, then McFarland as Dawson can't connect on the shot, and a foul called here. First foul on Nielsen. Dawson at the line. We were a little tough on him in the third quarter. Made his first free throw. Second one is a big one. It's good. Big free throws there from Alex Dawson to pull Mountain Crest back to within one possession, 46-43. Watson, good ball movement. Sever underneath. That's how you break full court pressure right there. Quick passing, able to find Joe Sever underneath for the easy bucket. Now Nethercott going to try to work the block. Sever. Biting him up, good defense there. Three-pointer on the way from Wallentine is good. Taryn Wallentine, 10 points for him. His first made three since early in the contest. Watson coming back the other way in the paint. Pull up is good. And now Max Watson with 10 points tonight. 50 to 46. The advantage for the home squad is Schwab shot, no good. That ball deflected out. And it goes to the Bees. Mountain Crest can't believe that that's the call. Feeling chipped on that one. Official right there saying it was tipped. Again, this full court pressure. Watson going to try the three. There it is. We said he would take that shot if he gave it to him. They didn't give it to him. It was just open due to the full court. 13 points for Max Watson. His first three ball tonight. Couldn't have come at a bigger time for Box Elder. Is that shot no good? Saved by Nielsen along the baseline. Up the floor quickly to Sever. Lay it up and in. And a timeout by Mountain Crest as the Bees quickly have built this up to a nine point lead with 240 left here. Clock hasn't started yet. There it goes as Brenchley let that roll all the way down. Mountain Crest, they need points. DeMooney picked up his dribble, looking for some help. Brenchley comes over. On the drive, tough shot. Count the bucket, good. What a shot by Jackson Brenchley as he'll head to the line for a free throw. Third foul called on Watson, the ninth team foul. As that free throw couldn't be made, DeMooney with the foul. That's number five, and they'll give him a technical for good measure there. Well, actually, we'll see if they will. He just fouled out, regardless of whether they call the technical for slamming the ball. So they do call the technical. Mika makes them both. 
That would have been six fouls on Jamuni. So even in an NBA contest, he would have fouled out tonight. Not many high school players can say that. As Watson able to beat past the press. Nielsen has a shot deflected out. It stays here with the Bees. McFarland inbound, stolen by Brenchley. Lofts it up the floor. Attacking the hoop is Dawson. Cut off. Well, Brenchley now will try and do so himself. Going glass, count the bucket, good. Jackson Brenchley has come alive here with seven points in the fourth quarter. He only had two in the first three quarters. Has nine total, 57-50 now. The score advantage home squad inside of two minutes left as Watson being hounded by Dawson. Able to pass over to Meekum and now coming out on him is Jensen. Five fouls on Mountain Crest. So they have one to give as we'll have a timeout called here by Box Elder. Ball inbounded and boy, interesting. I thought Jensen was out of bounds when, he when that hit off his back. It doesn't and it's Dawson who goes down the other way. 57-52 now, 130 left here in the contest. As again, Mountain Crest, we see them pick up that pressure. How about McFarland with the nimble feet? Nielsen outside to Watson. Brenchley comes out on him. Watson now picking up his dribble, passes back to Meekum, and wow, no foul call there as Jensen came out and was quite physical. I think even the Mountain Crest staff wanted a foul there. No call came there, it comes eventually on Jensen, his second. That was the sixth team foul, so now no more fouls to get for Mountain Crest. Box Elder shooting one and one the rest of the way. It won't matter here, Joe Sever. That kid has made a living in the fourth quarter from about two feet in. He does so again, 59-52, and now TRU double BLE for Mountain Crest as a foul called here. Is trying to get to the bucket was Brenchley. Watson picks up the foul, and it will be a one and one situation for Brenchley. Brenchley good on his first free throw. As Watson picked up his fourth foul, second free throw also good for Brenchley. Nine points for him in the quarter, 11 in the contest. Sever able to break away from the pack. Going up, and that shot mostly blocked, though there was contact there by Wallentine as he helped Sever up off the floor. Sever makes them both. 61-54, 10 points in the quarter for the senior forward, Joe Sever. As a foul call here on Harris, who just came into the ball game. Now he will foul out as Brenchley is fouled and will head to the line. Brenchley trying to convert the three-point play. He does so. 61-57 now. 49 seconds left. Just 17 fouls, so one in one situation. There it is. They call a foul on Jensen. Mountain Crest fans thought that may not have been the foul call they would have liked. It'll be a one in one situation for Meekum on the other end. Meekum's first free throw was good as that was the third foul on Landon Jensen tonight. Second free throw good as well for Meekum. 18 points for Jeremy Meekum. He is just slightly above his average as McFarland gets a paw on the pass. And now they've got a foul instead. Sever goes underneath and he walked with it. Yes, he did. That's the call. Eyes like a hawk up here. Had that one down as Brenchley trying to get around the defense of Nielsen. Nielsen smart to not foul, but McFarland will, and it will send Brenchley to the line with 32 seconds left. Fourth foul called on McFarland. Brenchley good on both. Well, it's been a really good fourth quarter for Brenchley. Fourteen points in the fourth alone is a foul called. Here's Watson able to penetrate, and he'll head to the line here in a one and one situation. Excuse me, they gave Watson two shots. He missed his first. 63-59. Second free throw, no good either. And the rebound to Brenchley. Clock is at 24 seconds left. Brenchley passes over, gets it back. Needs somewhere to go with the ball. Jensen able to bring it in. Draws contact, no whistle, but Landon Jensen goes glass. And just like that, it's a two point ball game with 11 seconds left and a timeout by Mountain Crest. Nine team fouls on Mountain Crest. So they have to foul here. It will be a two shot situation for Box Elder. They get it to Meekum and he's fouled immediately. 63, 61, 10 seconds left. Meekum to shoot two at the line. Meekum calmly knocks down the first free throw. Second free throw. 
here for the senior. No good. And the loose ball corralled by Schwab. It's a three-point ball game. It's on the way from Wallentine. No good. Rebound by McFarland. Foul immediately by Schwab with 1.9 left. And McFarland back to the line. McFarland made his first as a four-point ball game. This one essentially meaningless. He'll throw it up for good measure. Makes it 66-61. A full court heave here from Mountain Crest coming. Wallentine squares up. It won't matter. Ball game's over. 66-61. The Bees are 6-0. The Box Elder Bees out of the gate. They're 5 0 coming into this contest here tonight, but not an easy one ahead. Going up against a former region foe, the Mountain Crest Mustangs, who came in 3 and 4 overall, losers of two straight. It would be the Mustangs who got off to such a hot start in this one. They would find themselves up 8 0 just two minutes into this ball game, and the Bees looked like they may have been a little tentative out of the gate, but they would claw back in that first quarter and give credit to Jerem Me Meekum. He had five points in that first quarter, including a big three-pointer. Really helped to pull the Bees back. It was 16-14 after the first. To the second quarter we go, and we didn't see near the frenetic pace that we did in that first quarter. In fact, both these teams saw some turnovers in that second quarter, and, and we would head to the locker rooms. It'd be a 25-24 lead for the visiting Mountain Crest Mustangs coming out in the second half, and I tell you what, the Mustangs, they were getting swarmed by bees. That's how I respond, that's what how they respond. We saw turnovers, we saw steals created by the aggressive defense of the bees. We saw blocks down low. Harris was big defensively, he had a couple blocks, and those defensive plays led to offensive opportunities. Fast break time after time again is what would be as big of an eight point deficit in the first and second quarter would get as big as a seven point lead for the Bees in the third quarter. We head to the fourth and now we would start to see Jackson Brenchley come alive for Mountain Crest. He only had two points in this ball game in the first three quarters. Going into the fourth, they trailed by seven. They needed their stud, their junior stud, to lead the way, and he did so. He would score 14 points in the fourth quarter. Mountain Crest, however, would still find themselves trailing by seven here with about 48 seconds left, and this was going to become an easy victory for the Bees, right? Uh-uh, not so fast as the foul game would get started and it would be Brenchley who would make big shots late to just bring this team back. A couple and one plays for Mountain Crest. Hey, look at this, Meekum at the line. He goes one of two at 64, 61, 11 seconds left. Mountain Crest, they're gonna have a three point shot by Wallentine. Oh, just off the rim, no good. He had made two three pointers in this ball game. That one misses, a couple free throws tacked on late by the Bees, and they end up winning this one 66-61. We talked about Brenchley tonight and struggled scoring the rock for the first three quarters. He would end up finishing tonight with 16 points, a solid night for him. It just came all in the fourth quarter, 14 of his 16 points coming in that final quarter. Meanwhile, for the Box Elder Bees. You know, we talked about Shad Watson. Excuse me, that was his brother, Max Watson, the sophomore. This is the second leading scorer on this team. He didn't have a great night tonight. Part of that was because he was guarding Brenchley and uh, you know, Coach McKee talked about his defensive effort here tonight on Mountain Crest leading score. I thought he was fabulous. Uh, you know, Brenchley's a really good player and Max has length that can challenge him to stay in front of him, put his hand up in his face. to mention that fourth quarter, Joe Sever had an absolutely unbelievable quarter, 10 points. He had several where he was getting opening lands off of the pressure that Mountain Crest was trying to extend. He was key in the fourth quarter tonight, but you cannot fail to mention Jerem Meekum had an absolutely big game tonight, 19 points for Meekum, and a big win tonight for the Bees. They remain undefeated 6-0. Coach McGee talking about his undefeated team through the first six. You know, it's big because, you know, even though they're not in our region, they have been. And these kids know these kids have been playing against each other in comp leagues and stuff for, for 50 years. And so it means a little more than a regular preseason game, but at the same time, it's a preseason game. Mount Crest is a really good team. They're going to win a lot of games, and they're well coached. They got great players, uh, so it's a good win. It's just you know more confidence in the preseason. This Box Elder team, they are legitimate. A big win tonight over a good Mountain Crest squad that has now lost three straight. They dropped to three and five. Don't let that record deceive you. They're a team to deal with in Region One. 
to Region 5, though, hey, this region might be going through Brigham City. The Bees off to a 6-0 start, looking very good here tonight with a 66-61 win. We want to thank you for joining us on this edition of High School Rewind. For Vince Francis, my name is Dane Stewart. It's been our privilege to bring it to you. We'll see you next time here on High School Rewind.